Hey folks, it's Jason here. Just wanted to give you a very short preview of the album I'm working on. It's going to be similar to Apocalyptic Dreams, the album I released back in 2013, end of 2013. So it's going to be another metal instrumental album. There's going to be some very heavy stuff. The name of the album so far, unless I change it, is going to be called Dark Nysteria. So I will share more details as I have them, but here's a very short snip of what is to come. No, I didn't mean snip like you're getting snipped. <laughs> I meant, you know, like snip. Uh, let's just call it a clip. How about that? That's better. Here it is. Hope you guys enjoyed that very short clip of the metal instrumental album that is to come at some point called Dark Nysteria. Now, I don't have a ton of details on the album. I don't even have a release date. Um, I would like to get this release by the end of 2015. I figure worst case, it'll be the first quarter of 2016. But I'm really hoping, really pushing to have this done by the end of the year. So anyway, it's going to be similar to Apocalyptic Dreams, but I feel like I've got some better tones. I've been working on a lot of tones over the past couple years. And uh, how this album came about really is, you know, I'm, I'm constantly writing, just like a lot of you are. You know, I'm constantly practicing my instrument. I practice almost daily. And as, you know, as an adult, you know, you work, you've got responsibilities, I have another side business, you know, a lot of stuff going on. So, you know, it, it is difficult to find time, but you have to make time to practice and play. So... In that, I have been writing, you know, all these little clips over the past couple of years. So it's just a collection of that. I'm, you know, I'm sitting here thinking one day, I'm like, man, I've got enough, more than enough material for an album. So I went back to some of the clips that, that really stuck out to me and I've, I've expanded on them. So I've got a little ways to go, um, you know, before the album's complete. Again, I don't have a release date. I'm really really pushing for the end of the year. I'd really like to get that in by the end of the year. It's going to be heavy. It's going to be melodic. Um, it's going to be, you know, a mixture of modern metal, you know, melodic, some progressive styles in there, as well as your old school stuff, you know, like, um, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to compare it to old Metallica or old Megadeth or anything like that, because, you know, it's really nothing like that, but those are, you know, my first influences. So, on that, um, I'm going to finish this video with a beer that I haven't tried yet. And, uh, it's Labor Day weekend, so I'm about to grill some ribs, and uh, I'm going to drink beer. So this is called, I'm trying to read it, what does that say? Oh, kind of like Hard Rock, it's called Hard Root Beer. <laughs> I'm usually not a fan of... Uh, this by Coney Island. I'm usually not a fan of like flavored beers so much, you know. Just depends on what it is. But we're gonna try this out anyway. Again, my very cool skull bottle opener. Oh, and this I've got to give uh, got to give props to RJ. RJ, thank you again. RJ tends to bring me quite a few beers to try, so it's pretty cool. I have not tried this yet, so let's check it out. I do like root beer, so hopefully I'll like this stuff. 
I was just looking. There's a roller coaster on here. You guys probably can't see it. My lighting's horrible in my room. And it says, are you old enough to ride? I just thought that's pretty cool. So let's try it out. Mm. Very good. So if you like root beer, try out uh, Coney Island Brewing Company Hard Root Beer. I think I'll have a few more of these today while I'm cooking up my ribs. See you next time.